Hello and Assalamu alaikum Dear students, I hope you are fine with your family and at a safe place Today we are formally going to start uh, the video tutorials of our course Partial Differential Equation I have tried to explain the material and the stuff of the course uh, with the video uh, lecture so this is our first video and it will be uploaded on YouTube channel which I will uh, uh, tell you later in, in the same lecture. So this is my first attempt uh, for the video lectures and uh, I hope I will be able to explain you each and everything regarding the course. So let's formally start uh, our first uh, lecture of video tutorials. The lecture name which I have written is partial differential equation with the same name as we are learning the course. So what you will do in this lecture? Uh, in this lecture you will formally start how to solve linear first order partial differential equations. But before that you will be able to learn uh, the different types of partial differential equations and their classification but we will only focus our attention towards first order partial differential equations so in order to start uh, let's uh, go back and uh, recall what we had studied before the vacations about partial differential equations i will try to uh, re uh, capture that uh, knowledge so this is our lecture description we shall study first order linear quasi linear and non linear partial differential equations pds and their methods that how can we solve them so an important method which will be later called method of characteristics will be explained for these equations but today we will only focus on linear first order partial differential equation and their method of characteristics and what this method uh, do it reduces the partial differential equation to solving an ordinary differential equation system of characteristic curve which are in the linear case 3 so we will be having a PD which is linear first order and when we apply method of characteristic we need to solve ordinary differential equation system of three uh, linear equations and that we have done previously in the lectures uh, before the vacations if you remember we had uh, completed two methods method one and method two that how can we solve characteristic equation of differential equations so a first order partial differential equation in two independent variables x and y which we will denote formally in the video tutorials can be written as function any function of x y and z partial z over partial x and partial z over partial y equal to zero so this is the symbolic representation of first order partial differential equation mathematically for convenience we write partial z by partial x as p and partial z by partial y as q you all know that uh, just this uh, this notation has been used just for the convenience now why we study partial differential equation or one can ask you what is the motivation to study pds for that uh, i have derived uh, one example that uh, if we have a set of all spheres with the center on z-axis then what is the characteristic partial differential equation which will be studied for the dynamics or for all the properties of the sphere so in order to study the basic properties or dynamics of the sphere you only need to focus on one partial differential equation namely yp minus xq equal to zero so there are one first first question is that that how can you derive this equation and uh, second equation that second is that uh, uh, what the what are the methods that can be employed 
to derive the partial differential equation of any physical phenomena or uh, given conditions so the standard form of equation of sphere standard at zx is as you all you know that can be written as x square plus y square plus z minus c square equal to r square you need just to have to differentiate with respect to x then you will get the following equation again if you same uh, differentiate with respect to y to the same equation you will get uh, the given equation on your screen now the basic theme behind deriving partial differential equations is similar to ordinary differential equations where we had eliminated the constants so if you observe we are having two constants one is c and the other is small r by differentiating both sides small r has been automatically eliminated but uh, z minus c in z minus c term you are having a constant c remember the second uh, main important point that you cannot differentiate again with respect to x or y because you are studying only first order partial differential equations not second order so to derive first order you can differentiate with respect to x one time only and with respect to y one time only so now you can do two things either you can eliminate c by replacing the value of c from one equation into another or you can eliminate in fact z minus c because if you see you can easily find out the value of z minus c and then by easily eliminating you can get the respective form yp minus xq equal to 0 now this is the first order partial differential equation which is necessary for studying the dynamics of all fair standard at z axis important note is that this is one of the motivation which shows a glimpse that why we should study partial differential equation there are other also uh, main reasons i have uh, written the pdf lecture you can easily see that uh, how you can uh, uh, elaborate different other examples that why we study partial differential equations now in order to solve uh, sorry in order to classify a partial differential equation uh, you have to focus on the following thing remember in the previous slides that we were having only one function of x y z partial z by partial x and partial z by partial y based upon this function we can actually classify different types of partial differential equations of first order how can we do that for example that uh, the equation which you are having is equation 1 and if that equation depending upon the function f can be written as a function of x y b function of x y as a linear combination of z x z y and z and you are uh, also considering the non-homogeneous case on the right hand side d of x y then this type of equation equation 2 is known as linear first order partial differential equation remember that these uh, functions a of x y b of x y c of x y and d of x y they are continuous and their first order partial derivatives are also continuous continuity in the sense of uh, two variable function i mean they are having the domain r uh, omega which we had studied earlier in the previous classes uh, which is subset of r square and uh, continuity in the sense of two variables equation one if uh, has the form given by the following equation which is equation three that is a of x y z x plus b of x y z y equal to c of x y z which means there is no difference be between equation 2 and equation 3 unless you are 
taking c of x was at to the right hand side so this type of equation in the literature is known as semi linear first order partial differential equation now similar to that if you are having equation 1 as a of x y z partial z by partial x plus b of x y z and equal to c of x y z then it is known as quasi linear partial differential equation okay examples for example point of view you can easily see the following example x z x plus y z y equal to z this is the example of linear pd and similarly we can have semi linear linear again and quasi linear partial differential equation remember one thing that quasi linear either semi linear they are the examples of non linear partial differential equations in general we can have any other non linear partial differential equation as well but these two classifications are done because these type of equations can be solved easily with the method of characteristics or any other methods but if you are having highly non linear partial differential equation the methods are either very difficult or doesn't give you analytic solution now consider only the first case for first order partial differential equation now we will focus our attention towards only first order partial differential equation and from there the most general first order linear partial differential equation which has the form a x y z x plus b x y z y plus c x y z equal to d of x y just name that equation one and now we will try to learn how can we solve this equation with the uh, help of method of characteristics so in that slide i will try to elaborate how can we derive actually method of characteristics and in the next lecture in the next video tutorial i will explain you that how can we eventually solve first order linear partial differential equation okay so rewrite the above equation as the following azx plus bzy equal to minus cz plus d that equation is uh, equation 2 but remember that now if you focus on the left hand side of equation 2 this can be written as the following azx plus bzy can be written as gradient of z dot product with a comma b a comma b here is a formal notation to denote a vector ai plus dj but again if you observe a is function of x y b is function of x y so ai plus bj will be a new vector for unique values of x y so as x y varies a of x y comma b of x y as a vector will give you a new vector or unique vector for unique values of x and y therefore a of x y comma b of x y can be regarded as a vector field and if you recall the previous lectures before the vacation this vector field will have uh, integral curve which need to be determined by the set of ordinary differential equations what are the ordinary differential equations recall that uh, earlier we had written the differential equations for characteristic curve as dx over dt is p of x y z dy by dt as u of x y z and dz by dt as r of x y z this is done in the previous classes so now what we will write now remember that a x y and b x y are the components of vector field and you are trying to write differential equations for characteristic curve so dxy by dt will be equated as a and dy by dt will be written as b of xy so actually system 4 will be called differential equations for characteristic curve or characteristic equations you can name any one you want equation 4 determines the family of curves x of t and y of t and what are these family of curves these are those family of curves whose tangent vector 
how can you calculate uh, tangent vector parametrically by dx by dt and dy by dt coincides with ab i mean to say that ai plus bj okay now just uh, keep your attention on one thing earlier we had two ordinary differential equations sorry one partial differential equation which is in the equation one eventually we have got two ordinary differential equation dx by dt and dy by dt okay now the derivative of z along these curves i mean to say your curve depends upon t so along t what can be the derivative of z because z is function of x y in general x and y are functions of t now so how can you derive dz by dt uh, you use chain rule so you can write dz by dt as partial z by partial x partial x by partial t but remember that x is only function of t not uh, of more than one variable so partial x by partial t will be notified as dx by dt like here okay so partial z by partial y dy by dt okay now dz by dt can be written as zx plus zy and dx by dt can be written as a and dy by dt can be written as b from equation 4 but if you focus your attention on the equation 2 zx a plus zy b can be equated as minus cz plus d so minus cz plus t is here and this equation dz by dt is the ordinary differential equation for z thus along the curves x of t and y of t z satisfies the ordinary differential equation z prime plus cz equal to d d of t so this approach by finding the curves x of t y of t and z of t is known as method of characteristics and your solution uh, will be a uh, written as parametrically your solution was initially z of x y but now you write parametric equations of x of t y of t and z of t so if you eliminate t and write z in terms of x y uh, this approach is known as uh, uh, writing your solution as in the form of x y so we will do that uh, in in the later examples but uh, just uh, to focus your attention this is actually the method of characteristics this is the main idea main focus that how can you explain or how can you uh, go through with the method of characteristics but remember one thing that for solving first order linear partial differential equations what you have done you are solving three first order linear ordinary differential equations so this is quite interesting by the method of characteristics that if you are going to solve partial differential equation linear first order you are having you need to solve three ordinary differential equations linear and they are also of first order so in the next lecture i will try to solve uh, uh, first order linear partial differential equation and we will do some example as well with this method but uh, just for now keep your focus on the method on the description just see how you learned that lecture video tutorial and uh, i will upload this lecture on youtube uh, the lecture uh, the 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 video uh, youtube channel name uh, is uh, mind your mathematics this will be shared with you on whatsapp and uh, just go and subscribe the channel with the name uh, Math Ma mind your mathematics so thank you very much for your attention and uh, if you like the lecture please share the video and subscribe to the channels i will share also the practice problems as a pdf file this whole lecture as a as a pdf file thank you very much